Good morning, YouTube. Featuring Hi. my fiance. Boom. So this video is going to be documenting our Venice, Florida trip. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually from Tennessee and our favorite place to vacation is Florida. So we've been to St. Augustine, we've been to Boynton Beach, Panama City, and Destin. And now we're actually in Venice. So got the two pups with us, Luna and Rambo. And yeah, guys, so this trip is all about just relaxing, just getting away, enjoying the beach, uh, getting some training in. So I looked up gyms around here and I found one called Bayfit. And if you're ever in this area, I think it's like maybe 10 minutes from here in a place called Inglewood, Florida, which is right outside of Venice. Super nice gym. They've got an outside workout set up uh, with a bunch of like rogue racks. And then inside, they've got all the machines you'll need. They've got squat racks, deadlift platforms, um, multiple bench presses. So I am starting the morning off with the Celsius which I normally uh, drink coffee. But we're kicking the morning off. We're gonna take the pups for a walk. And then yeah, so we'll document kind of where we're getting breakfast, uh, maybe a couple other spots we eat at, uh, some beach footage. But yeah, I wanted to bring you guys along. My, my channel has kind of gotten a little dull with just the workout content that's repetitive. I know it's you know informative for some of you guys, but sometimes it's fun to just like switch it up and go to like a vlog style format. So um, this type of content is new to me, so stick with me. I hope you guys enjoy this video and then I'll give you a tour of our little Airbnb um, it's a couple miles away from the beach anytime we go on these vacations we're always like you know we keep our budget in mind we don't want to go super crazy stay right on the beach because you know honestly we're not really at our Airbnb we're mostly out and about so uh, we found a really really cool spot uh, it's got some cool stuff outside I'll show you but yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video Shamrock Nature Trail. A super, super nice day in Venice, Florida, guys. It is extremely hot. Uh, we wanted to get out a little bit earlier, so we're gonna have to cut the, the walk a little short just to keep the, the puffs from overheating and uh, keep them hydrated. And also, you know, the pavement can get really hot on their paws. So if you have uh, dogs and you're in this area, definitely check this out. These sites look a lot different than what we're used to in Tennessee on some of those nature trails. Like I said though, we, we love Florida. Um, and this time, this trip, we really wanted to get out and experience as much as we could. Most of the time when we come to Florida, we just go straight to the beach and then just like plant ourselves down and that's all we do. But this time we wanted to check out, you know, tons of different areas. I believe we're gonna branch out to Sarasota today, which is a, like 20, 30 minutes away, I believe, maybe maybe a little bit closer. some water we got a short walk in 
starting the day off with some movement with some sunshine best way to start the day so yeah um, definitely check this place out short little walk for the puffs and now we're about to go get a workout in and then we'll take you guys to the beach with us come on hey hey let's go Jump up. about to die it's so hot out here we just made it back to the Airbnb was planning on fasting before the workout but I'm extremely hungry uh, I don't know if the heat got to me or just because it's been like three or four hours since we've been up but we came prepared so if you watched any of the previous videos you guys know how to make these smoothies so what we're going to do, and also brought the Nutribullet. If you're new to the smoothie, highly recommend making this. It's super, super good. So I'm not sponsored by First Form. It's just my favorite protein. And it's sweetened with stevia. There's no artificial flavors. It's got a good fruit blend. It's got a superfood complex, which is a ton of things with mushrooms and just a lot of organic ingredients and it tastes extremely extremely good so the smoothie starts off with oats and then we have some almond milk and then i'll do the protein hemp seeds chia seeds a little bit of honey and then we'll go to the dates then I'll blend it up, and then the next stage is going to be the frozen fruit. And guys, I normally shop at a place called Kroger's in Tennessee. Um, I couldn't find one around here. We just went to a Publix. So I just got this mango berry blend. It's not organic. I try to get organic whenever I can. Um, and then also some frozen bananas. So yeah, one of the best smoothies I've ever personally had, and I highly recommend you guys making this yourself and then if you end up making it comment below let me know if you liked it or not in route to Bayfit and guys something I wanted to tell you uh, I talked about it in some previous videos is one of my biggest challenges over the last probably like two years is just getting back consistent so like I felt like I was at my peak physique and my peak strength um, a few years back then I injured my shoulder I never really recovered from that I never really got back to training seriously and then I ended up getting sick um, and I just feel like there's just been a lot of ups and downs and like right as I try to get back on track or right as I'm getting back on track with my consistency and fitness, I just fall off. And a big thing is like with vacations, for example. So for me, even though we were coming here to really enjoy ourselves and relax, I still wanted to stay consistent on the routine. So something I can recommend to you guys if you know, you're serious about your training don't let a vacation or you know things in life throw you off course try your best to stick to it even if you're doing like a home workout like just calisthenics only you know focus stay consistent stay to your routine even on vacation not saying you can't like relax kick back but 
I'm passionate about fitness. I love doing this, so this is fun for me. Yeah, basically what I'm saying is, even on vacation this time, something I'm doing different to like stay on my routine is keeping consistent with the workout program. So today we're gonna be deadlifting. They have a deadlift platform. It's a Sunday. It looks like it's pretty pretty empty, so I'm hoping no one's you know using it because most of my workout will be spent there. And then I count deadlift days as like a lower body, so after I'll probably do some hamstring work and then some quad work and another thing that's good about having a home gym is I don't have to worry about filming you know I, I kind of get a little weird filming in public um, just because I don't want to like get anybody in the video and then they feel a, you know a certain type of way so being in a home gym is more laid back I can film what I want so if the gym's super busy I probably won't do too much workout footage but if it you know doesn't have a lot of people then I'll film pretty much all the sets and reps but yeah so we're at BayFit guys So we just finished the workout and I think I got maybe one or two deadlift clips and honestly guys the gym was pretty packed for a Sunday and of course the places where I was working out um, people were just kind of surrounded that area so I didn't have the tripod or anything to like hook up the phone to so I couldn't really prop it up so no workout footage but we did um, three by three on deadlift we did some leg curl for back off work, Romanian deadlifts, leg extensions, and then I did a squat assisted machine. Um, as you guys know, I mostly train minimalist at home in a home gym. And so whenever I do go to a gym, I love switching it up and getting some machine work in. I think yesterday we might've got more footage of like the inside of the gym and then the outside workout section. So if that's the case, I'll throw some clips in. But if you're in the Venice, Florida area, check out BayFit. It's only $10 a day for a day pass, and then the first date was free. So next stop is the beach. Uh, we might actually, actually, we'll probably get lunch, then we'll go to the beach. So excited to take you guys along, show you the views. Be a successful workout, leg day. Show you guys what I'm about to eat. We decided not to go out because we have leftovers. Uh, we ended up eating at this Mexican restaurant called... Mi Pueblo. Man, it's super good. But of course, every time you go to eat, you always got the pups freaking right by you. So just leftover chicken fajitas, um, made two tacos. It's probably like 20-ish grams of protein. But just about two hours ago, I had that um, protein smoothie, which is like seven, 800 calories. So I'm still kind of full. I've never really had the biggest appetite. But we are going to eat real quick and then pack up the lunchbox, head out to the beach, and then I'll shoot some clips there for you.
made it to Casperson Beach, uh, still in Venice. This looks like more of a secluded, um, super nice beach. You probably just got to see a little bit of B-roll footage. But we're about to throw on some sunscreen because we're pasty. I always get sunburnt the first couple days, so sunscreen up, and then we're gonna go kick it on the beach. So the first part that we just checked out was super packed. We've never been to this part of the beach before. So we decided to walk on down this trail and see what's out here. It looks a lot more low key, but check out the view, check out the water. Super nice out here. Here's a quick tour of the Airbnb. Start out in a little like sunroom, chill room. Pretty decent sized kitchen. And guys, excuse the mess. We have been on vacation for a couple days now. Um, check out this table, I thought it was awesome. It's got some type of resin. Then you got like the beach theme set up. Got Luna chomping on the bone. My babe looking for a spot for us to go get some dinner. And then we'll move on to bathroom pretty cool setup and we got a bedroom and then a second bedroom and yeah that's pretty much it take you guys outside real quick though pretty cool landscape got a palm tree front yard got a chill little back patio area and then one of my favorite things about this Airbnb is this tree back here. It's crazy looking. But yeah, we got a full house. I think the last Airbnb we had was like a duplex. Really the last two that we've got was a duplex. So I'm super excited to have our own house, have some peace and quiet. Yeah, love it. We are about to head to get some dinner. We ended up spending about two to three hours out at Casperson Beach, which was a pretty good time. I did enjoy Venice, the actual Venice Beach a little bit more. Casperson was very crowded and it was a little like, a little more rough. There was a lot of seashells everywhere and uh, the water to me just didn't seem as nice. So we are heading to Dockside Bar and Grill I'm super excited to take you guys with us and show you what we're getting, which I don't really eat seafood. Some people will trip out on that, but I'll probably end up just getting a burger and fries, um, which is me. It's either a burger and fries or like a chicken sandwich. So super basic, but we are about to head that way and yeah, excited to bring you guys along. I really wish we would have started, you know, filming this vlog yesterday and the day before because we ate out at some really cool places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then today was the day we decided to, you know, move more towards a budget and eat breakfast and lunch at home. So, yeah, take you guys with us.
right guys so we just finished up at the dockside bar and grill i'm stuffed i will say that that was the cheapest place for burger and fries that we have been to but it was the best and also the views it was really cool seeing all like the sailboats and like the yachts and whatever else was out there and then it started raining a nice little breeze through there but i would 100 percent recommend that over every place we've uh, we've been to so far so dockside bar and grill now we're about to run to Publix and get a couple things and then also stop and get some gas but that's probably it for today it's raining now so I'm just gonna go back to the Airbnb and kick back and then we'll probably film tomorrow which we're planning on going to Sarasota and Anna Marie Island and our goal is kind of just to like when we come to Florida is to branch out and just see the areas that we really enjoy we really like because the goal is to eventually move down here. Uh, I don't know when, but uh, in the future, we would like to be uh, in Florida as our home base. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. currently on the Casey Key and the houses out here are honestly incredible I would say they're all ranging in like the 1.5 million plus and then you can see the pretty cool views on the side so this is a sad day for us because it's our final day in Florida but so far it's been a really good trip we got to check out several beaches and then today we are finishing the trip off heading to Sarasota and um, Anna Marie Island so like I said this is a different style of video than I normally create um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the views I'm gonna post some footage as well or maybe it's already been played of us at the dog beach this morning I got to take uh, my German Shepherd Rambo to the beach for the first time and he looks a little nervous in the video but I promise you guys he was having a blast um, yeah, so now we're just gonna show you guys some, some of the views during this drive. It's just 15 miles per hour through here, so we're just kinda creeping, but these houses are insane. 